What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show here today. We got the Yankees coming to town for a three-game series, completing a pair of interleague play series. Got Pablo Lopez on the mound for the Cardinals here, going up against Oswald Peraza. It's already a 1-0 ball game in the top of the second. Runners on the corners. Only one out here. Now, Peraza is one for one on the day. Got a one and one count here. There's the pitch. To the left side, shortstop fields, throws to me at second. High throw, couldn't complete the double play, but we did get the runner at second. Unfortunately, runner from third does score, so it's a 2-0 ball game. Yankees have the lead here today. Bottom half of the inning, though, same situation. One out, runners on the corners. We have Brandon Woodruff on the mound for the Yankees here. Uh, I can't see what his four-seamer hits. It looks like it's a 97, 98 maybe. And he's got a slider at 90 miles an hour as well. The two-seamer hits 98. First pitch from him is a 96 mile an hour four seamer on the outer third fouled off and now it's an 0-1 count could not catch up to that pitch there oh swinging to miss the four seamer at the top of the zone and it's an 0-2 hole in a hurry here holy mackerel yankees are actually not leading their division or the wild card in the american league we watch a four seamer there off the plate inside and just a smidge high so one and two is the count Looks like the infield's playing about normal depth. Four-seamer there below the knees. Easy take for a ball. Two and two the count now. We've worked it back to even. Pitch number five of the at-bat from Woodruff, though. Is a four-seamer in the top of the zone. Could not make contact. Swing and a miss. Is another strikeout for me. Goodness, when will I ever stop striking out with such proficiency? Top of the third, two-nothing ball game still. Yankees in the lead. Two outs, nobody on for Alex Kirilov. He's one for one on the day. Got an 0-1 count in this at-bat. Here's the pitch. Chopper to the right side. A little bit of a run to get to it, but we got it. Easy play. Retires the side here in the top of the third. Bottom of the fourth. Runner on first and two away. I'm standing in for the second time here. Struck out in my first plate appearance. Not a surprise. Brandon Woodruff still on the mound here. And, uh, yeah, first pitch from him. Is a two-seamer at 96. Late swing, got a piece, fouled it off down the right field line. So we have an 0-1 count here. The 0-1 pitch from Woodruff. Swing and a miss of the 12-6 curve. Had me hook, line, and sinker with that one. 0-2 the count after not standing a chance of making contact there. And the high heat got me for the swing at it for strike three again. Two at-bats, two strikeouts for me. Lovely stat line. Lovely. Coming back to the top of the fifth runner on second and one away for Oswaldo Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Got an 0 and 2 count in this at bat against Pablo Lopez. Chopper to the right side. We'll get a glove on that. Throw to first and plenty of time. Quality sacrifice there to advance the runner to third, but now there are two outs for the Yankees in the top of the fifth. Aaron Judge coming to the plate now. 0 for 2 day with a strikeout and a flyout for him. He's only hitting 294 on the season, though. Got a 1 and 2 count with that runner on third and two away. There's the pitch. Ground ball to the right side. Come on, get to it. Throw the ball. There we go. We get him easily. And the 2 0 score stays put as we retire the side. Bottom of the sixth, still a 2 0 ball game. Runner on second and two away. I'm standing in for the third time today. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. We got to avoid the hat trick here. Still have Brandon Woodruff on the mound for the Yankees. First pitch is below the knees. Call the ball. 1 0 the count. Tyler O'Neill is the man on second here. He's a little quick. He's got some stolen bases on his repertoire today. Well, not today, but this season. Circle change there misses the outside corner. 2 0 the count after that one is also called the ball. The 2-0 pitch now from Woodruff. Off the inside corner now, 3-0 the count. I think we might have to take pitch number four just on principle unless he hangs me one. All right, the 3-0 pitch. Catches the inside corner there, took it on principle. And 3-1 and one the count. I think we'll take this one, too, unless it's a no-brainer swing. Four-seamer off the outside corner. 
Runners on first and second now with two away in the bottom of the sixth. Nothing that come from it as top of the seventh, two outs and nobody on. Oswaldo Pereira, or Oswald Peraza is at the plate for the Yankees. One for two on the day. Got a two and two count here against reliever Scott Barlow. He bunts one down the first base line. Uh, that's not going to work out so well. As first baseman takes it to the bag himself. It's one, or uh, three, unassisted. We're moving into the seventh inning stretch, kids. Don't oh, forget your Cracker Jack. Coming back to a bottom of the eighth. It's a tie ball game now. Two runs apiece. Runner on second. Nobody out as I'm standing in with an 0 for 2 line score today. And, oh, man. Uh, we'll try for the double or better. I don't think it's going to happen. Reliever Clark Schmidt on the mound for the Yankees now. I can't see how fast the slider is, but his sinker hits 97. So does his four-seamer. Circle change also at 90. Here we go. First pitch. Below the knees with that slider at 87 miles an hour. 1-0 count in front of 35,792 paid admission today. The 1-0 pitch now from Schmidt is also another slider low. 2-0 and oh, the count. Don't tell me they're going to actually walk me again. The 2-0 pitch is inside another slider. Three straight sliders, three straight balls. So we have a 3-0 and o count. We might just have to take this one on principle, right? Taken all the way here on 3-0. and o. Oh, he gave me a four-seamer in the zone. I gave it a rip. Had to swing at it. I just had to. 3-1 and one the count after following that one off towards the St. Louis dugout. The 3-1 pitch. Oh, <laughs> I should have watched it. Four-seamer up above the zone got me to swing and miss. Full count now because of it. And the payoff pitch here from Schmidt. It's a swing and a miss at the four-seamer off the inside corner. Goodness me, if I could keep the bat on my shoulders, I'd be on first base again. But no, the hat trick is complete. Three strikeouts on my line score now. Dang it. Top of the ninth, tie ball game. Still two runs apiece, two out, nobody on for Jonathan Scope. He's hitting 237 on the season. The 0-2 pitch to him is grounded up the middle. We'll get a glove on that, throw to first. Let's move to the bottom half, see if we can walk it off here. We do. Did we do it in nine innings? Let's find out. You betcha. Four runs scored in the ninth. Must have been a grand slam. Hot diggity. How about that? So a 6-2 win in game number one against the Yankees. Never a bad thing. We will take the, all the wins we can get, especially against good teams. So, yeah, we're going into game number two. While it's loading, I'd like to remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. You can also like and comment on those videos. All of these things help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Bottom of the second, runner on second and two away. I'm standing in. And batting seventh today, 238 batting average. Lewis Gill is on the mound for the Yankees here. He's got a 99-mile-an-hour four-seamer, 90 on his circle change, 98 on the two-seamer. First pitch from him. Is a slider over the outside corner had me out in front. Only an 89 mile an hour pitch there, so I was gearing up for the fastball. 0 and 1 the count after fouling that one away. And chopper to third here. It's not going to be a double play, but he does get me at first after throwing across the diamond. So that retires the side in the bottom of the second. Top of the fourth. The Yankees are up 2 to nothing now. Jose Trevino at the plate. There's two outs and nobody on for him here in the top of the fourth. Two and two, the count against starter Mike Soroka. The pitch is turned into a ground ball to me at second. We'll throw to first with ease to retire the side. And the top of the fourth is done. Bottom of the fifth, it's a two to one ball game now. Cardinals have scored a run. Runner on first and nobody out as I'm standing in for the second time here against Luis Gill. Yeah, he's got a 99-mile-an-hour four-seamer there. Oof, da. First pitch is that four-seamer. 97 on the gun. Got a piece of it and fouled it away. So 0-1 is now the count. Second pitch of the at-bat here. Four-seamer was over the outside corner, but that one was called a ball. I think this umpire needs to have his eyes checked. The 1-1 pitch now from Gill. Circle change. Out in front of it, just a smidge. Got a piece, fouled it away. One and two the count after that one. 
Next pitch here is way above the zone. Gets away from the catcher. Runner's going to advance to second. And now we have a runner on second with nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth. All right, now the 2-2 pitch here from Lewis Gill is off the plate way away. That slider there, his control seems to be disappearing. Full count now with no outs. Let's see what we get here for the payoff pitch. Two-seamer there sent out to right field. That's towards the line. Get out of play. Come on. Nope. Stays fair. Catch is made there by the line. And, yeah, relay throw in. Prevents the runner on second from advancing because he is slow. Aaron Judge saving the day for the Yankees here. Top of the six as we come back to it. Alex Kirilov is at the plate for them. Uh, runner on first and one away. The 0 for 2 line score for Kirilov. Not great. He sends a ground ball to the left side. Oh, shortstop knocks it down. And no chance of getting an out there. Now there's a runner on first and second with only one away here in the top of the sixth. Somehow the Cardinals have come back and tied it at two runs apiece here in the bottom of the seventh. A belly full of Cracker Jack might just help me out. Domingo German on the mound for the Yankees now. He's got that 95 mile an hour four seamer. 95 on the sinker. Nothing else quick. Here we go. First pitch of the at-bat. He shows me the 12-6 curve, and I send it into center field for a single. That's the way we want to get things done. Can't score runs if you don't get on base, and now we are on base, hopefully being able to score the go-ahead run in this one. No dice, top of the ninth. Still tied at two. Yariel Gonzalez is at the plate for the Yankees. He's 0 for 3 on the day. Got a 3-1 count here with nobody out and nobody on. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to the right side. Easy play. We get a glove on that. Throw to first. And that is the first out in the top of the ninth. Bottom half of the ninth. Still tied at two. Nobody on. Two away. On the last chance to win this one in regulation. Only swing at pitches inside the zone. Only swing at pitches inside the zone. And record a hit. Or draw a walk. Uh, looks like we're going to try to only swing at pitches inside the zone. And record a hit. Domingo German on the mound still. So let's see what we get from him this time around. First pitch is a four-seamer up and in. 1-0 the count after taking that one. Come on, big shoots. Give me something good. You hang it, I'll bang it. Not going to happen there. Four-seamer off the plate away. Makes a 2-0 count. Yeah, buddy. Come on now. Third pitch of the at-bat is inside. Three pitches, three balls, 3-0 three oh the count here. Do we take this one on principle unless he hangs me something off speed? I think so. The 3-0 pitch. Oh, four-seamer in the zone. Swing and a miss. Makes for a 3-1 and one count. At least that one was in the zone when I swung. So The 3-1 pitch. Chopper to back to the mound. We're going to extra innings. 1-3 to three the put out. And we're going on to the 10th. Let's see what we get here. Cardinals walk it off in game number two as well. Are you kidding me? Three to two, the final score in 10 innings. Let's move on to game number three. Is it even possible that we could sweep the Yankees? I don't know, let's find out. All right, here we go. Bottom of the first, Yankees are up two to nothing. Yeah, two outs and nobody on. I'm batting third with a 238 batting average. Garrett Cole on the mound for the Yankees. Got that 100 mile an hour four seamer. 91 on his slider. 90 on the circle change as well. Plus a cutter at 94. First pitch is that four seamer up above the zone. And I could not lay off it. 0 oh, and won the count after that swing and a miss. 185 strikeouts on my season so far. We're only halfway through August. That's ugly. The 0-1 pitch is below the knees. Slider almost bounces off the plate there. Looked like a 58-foot pitch. 1-1 one one the count. Another one below the knees. Four-seamer this time around. Makes for a 2-1 count. He's thrown me three pitches, and all three have been outside of the zone. The 2-1 pitch, though. Uh, the outside corner actually just off it with the slider. Ground ball to second is an easy play for them to throw me out at first and retire the side. Top of the second, still a 2-0 ball game. Runner on third and one away for Oswald Peraza. He's one for one with a double and a run scored so far today. 
He's got an 0-1 count against starter Pablo Gonzalez here. He'll wind up the pitch. Little chopper to the right side. We're going to throw him out at first. Concede the run. There you go. 3 0 ball game. Two away here now in the top of the second. 4 2 the score as we come back to it in the top of the fourth. Jason Dominguez is at the plate for the Yankees. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Got an 0 2 count here with two out and nobody on. Here's the kick and the pitch from Gonzalez. A little ground ball here to second again. Easy play. That retires aside. We're moving on to the bottom of the fourth here. Speaking of, I'm leading things off 0 for 1 on the day so far with the ground out in the first inning. I am 1 for 8 on the series so far. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's try to get on base after taking the first pitch. Why not? Garrett Cole still on the mound for the Yankees. And let's see what we get here. Pitch number 1 taken all the way. High pitch with the four seam. It's a good one to lay off of. So 1-0 and the count after that one called the ball. Second pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss. The circle change below the knees. That's not a good one. 1-1 one and one the count here. Should be 2-0 and oh if I can keep the bat on my shoulders. Third pitch of the at-bat from Cole. There's a four-seamer right at the top of the zone. 99 miles an hour. Wasn't going to catch up to that if I wanted to. 1-2 and two the count after that swing and a miss. 1-2 pitch was a knuckle curve out in front of it, but at least I got a piece of it. And that maintains the count at 1-2. and two. The next pitch here is off the plate away. Cutter at 93. Evens up the count at 2-2. Two and two. All right, big guy. Inside pitch now with a knuckle curve. Full count starting things off here in the bottom of the fourth. Are we going to get on base with a walk? Let's find out. The payoff pitch. It's a swing and a miss on the slider off the outside corner. And dang it, another strikeout for me. Oh, you'd think I'd get sick and tired of saying that. Oh, I am, but I still can't resist. 4-2 still the score here in the top of the six. Nobody out and nobody on for Alex off. And he's 0 for 2 on the day. Got a 1-1 count here against reliever Andrew Chafin. Wind up the pitch. Pops one up next to the mound. Yep, you can have that, sir. One unassisted. Well, I guess that would be a P1. And pitcher gets himself an assist and put out. Bottom half of the inning, 5-2 to two is the score now as I'm standing in for the third time here. 1 for 9 on the series. 0 oh for 2 on the day. Nobody out, nobody on. Clark Schmidt on the mound in relief. We had some good luck against him earlier. 97 mile an hour sinker with this guy. 97 on the four seamer as well. 90 on a circle change. Here we go. First pitch of the at bat. Is below the knees. Sinker at 94. Call the ball. I have three career RBIs against the Yankees. Interesting statistic. The 1 0 pitch now. Oh, got a piece of the four seamer off the outside corner. One of these days, I will learn to let them go. But no, 1 and 1 the count after that foul ball. Swing and a miss there at the slider just above the knees. One and two the count after that one. The next pitch from Schmidt. It got me with the slider, had me out in front. Another strikeout for me. Oh, can we do a game without a pair of strikeouts? Dang it. Eight to two the score here. Yankees having a six-run lead in the bottom of the eighth. Runner on second, nobody out. Clark Schmidt still on the mound for the Yankees. And, uh, yeah. Let's see what we can do this time around. Oh, horrific swing at the slurve there, just over the knees on the outside third of the plate. Oh, and won the count after that horrific swing and a miss. Oh, uh, got a piece of the sinker there right at the knees. Probably would have been a ball, but 0-2 oh the count after fouling it off. And yeah, not looking good here. The two-strike pitch from Schmidt. Off the plate away with the slurve. One and two the count. Only 27,596 in attendance today. Bleachers are looking a little barren out there. Kind of weird. The one-two pitch is a slider out in front of it. Foul ball. One and two the count. Still after that one. The next pitch from Schmidt. Oh, below the knees sinker. But I swung at it. Got a piece of it. Fouled it away. We're still holding on to that one and two count here. This is the sixth pitch of the at-bat. That one in the dirt gets away from the catcher. Runner tried advancing to third, and he is thrown out after the pitcher recovers the ball in the dirt. So bases are now empty. Two and two the count. One away. 
The next pitch is a sinker that I foul off down the right field line. Aaron Judge trying to make the play. He's not going to get there in time. So that foul ball remains at a two and two count. This is going to be pitch number eight of the at-bat. Three and two after watching that sinker off the inside corner. Holy mackerel. Here we go. Pay off pitch. Pitch number nine of the at-bat is a walk slider off the outside corner. They give me first base for free after working a long at-bat there. Doesn't matter as I don't get driven in. Giancarlo Stanton is at the plate now here. Top of the ninth. Nobody out. Nobody on. Stanton's one for three on the day. Got a two and one count here against reliever Steven Matz. The wind up, the pitch. Chopper just to the right side. Come on, get to the ball. Throw to first. There you go. First out in the top of the ninth. I know it's just basically for pride at this point because we are down by six runs. Runners on first and second, two away. Jose Trevino at the plate. Two for four day for him so far. But he's got an 0-2 count here against Steven Matz. And that ground ball to the right side is going to be an out. And we finally have ended the top of the ninth. We're going to head to the bottom half of the inning, see if we can get any more runs. Does not look like it. Yankees take the win 8-3, to three, the final score. And we actually win two out of three against the Yankees. I'm plenty okay with that. But that's going to be the end of the series, also the end of the episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. And we will see you in the next one.